and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I thought I'd do something a little bit different, something I've not done before. It's kind of like a haul, but it's like a blogger mail haul. Um, so, um, I've just recently started working, oh, before I start anything else, um, if you haven't um, already, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me and make me very happy. Um, so, basically... Um, I've seen a lot of people do these like blogger mail hauls and I'm so impatient that I could not possibly wait until I amassed enough mail to do a video. Um, recently I um, misguided, I'm working with misguided and I've never worked with them before so I was really excited about that and they've kindly sent me a big old parcel of things so I thought that may warrant a blogger mail opening video. Um, so that's what I thought I'd do. So it's not even open yet, so I've just got the scissors. So I'll open it. And oh. so I think I picked around eight items. I did pick all of these, but just haven't seen them. So I'll just pick them out as they come. 10% off everything here. I'll add that um the code for 10% off everything in the description box below actually um, so if you do want to pick up any of these pieces then you'll get 10% off oh and before I start as well this top is actually from New Look it's not misguided um, and it's £9.99 which is like the biggest bargain in the world and I'll link that below too so the first item is a pair of jeans and I've really been loving like the colour block jeans like the patchworky kind of style so I went for these um, because I just thought, if not now, when? And I've got so many different pairs of jeans and I just thought, these are something different. So from the outside, they look like this. But then, dun dun dun! They're light on the inside. So what I really liked was just the kind of like colour block thing. So I've seen them in Topshop and stuff, where they're just light with a strip of dark down the side. But not where they're like light on one side and dark on the other. So I thought that these would be really cool. I like the fact they've got a ripped knee but it's not like gaping. Um, and I also liked it that it was just ripped on one side. It's not too much. Um, there's not too many rips going on. Um, they're high waisted style. I think they're mom jeans. Mum, mom, however you say it. High rise contrast waist jeans. So they're just called high, high waist contrast waist. Um, but they're not... So they're not a particular style, but they look, for me, the high waist and the kind of style of the leg, to me, look like a straight leg or a mum jean, which I'm really liking at the moment. So I'm really looking forward to trying those on. So what I'll do is, after I've gone through all of these, I'm going to try them all on and kind of talk through it. Or actually, what I might do, I will try, try them on and then talk them all through it, but I might insert the clips after each, um, after each product. So now will be a clip of me trying. I'm really sorry about the surroundings of this little clip but um i am confined to my room so this is what you get but anyway these are a bit tight these jeans they're size eight i mean i probably would have gone for a size 10 they don't they're not too big they kind of fit properly around the waist when i breathe in um but i do think with jeans they do stretch so sometimes it's better to get the size that fit you like really snug than to get a pair that are going to be just right because then they might get a bit too loose um so yeah but I really like them because they're the perfect fit that I like so tight at the top and then they just go straight down and they don't I really like this I think it's really cool like, I didn't know how I was going to like it but I think it's actually really cool I really like it and because from the front they just look completely normal from the back they look completely normal fit perfectly and then from the side hello stripe I just think they're really cool. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about these. Because I know they're such... I bet they're going to be like a complete marmite type thing. But I really like them. I just think they, they'll look really cool. Um, I don't know if I'd wear them with boots. I feel like they're maybe more of a summer thing. But we'll see. I don't know. So the next thing I'm going to collect is this. Oh, I know what this is. A pair of pyjamas. I love misguided nightwear. So, it's a cute pair of shorts. These are really cute. And a little top, which says The Breakfast Club. 
and I just thought these were the cutest, this is the cutest little set, um, I love the little stripes and you can never have too much nightwear and this is actually really soft and comfortable because often I find that like when I buy nightwear from high street stores and stuff sometimes it's not actually that comfortable to sleep in um, and so it's just kind of stuff that I'll lounge around the house in and it just turns out to be like my loungewear it's not something that I could actually sleep in but these are super comfortable I'll definitely be able to sleep in these and they remind me of like Victoria's Secrets-esque kind of style which I guess that's what it's trying to be but yeah, I love these. I'm not sure on the prices of what any of these because they're not on the labels. So what I'll do is I'll just link everything in the description bar below and I'll put all the prices next to everything. And what I'll do, which I always forget to do normally, is I'll also write what sizes I've got and everything. So I'm normally kind of an 8 to 10, probably an 8, but I like to wear a 10 sometimes just for more comfort. So I think I probably would have got these pyjamas in a 10 because I just would prefer to have more roomy pyjamas so I just kind of pick and choose depending on what the product is so these pyjamas are super cute really love these they're so comfortable and light and airy and they fit perfectly and they're just really cute who what's not to like about them so next this is something that I've been looking at on Instagram on everyone's account for ages and love 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 the look of it and i just really hope that it lives up to my expectations it is the luxury embroidered bomber jacket and i can see right now the quality of it is so much better than what i was expecting um and it's just beautiful so cool i mean i don't know if i can pull it off to be honest but i reckon with the right outfit i definitely could and it's just so so cool I saw it on um, Desire's Buyer's Instagram and I just love anything she wears and it's just beautiful and I've been eyeing it up for a while. I think this one was £40 which is a bit pricey for misguided I will admit but if you think about how much this, this would definitely be at least £80 in Topshop like if not over £100 um, so if you think about it in that way it's so good like the pricing is really good. Um, so it's yeah, just a kind of bomber style, it's got a kind of orientally, like chinese oriental print. Guys, I think I'm in love. This jacket looks so cool on me, even if I do say so myself. I love it so much. <sighs> definitely, it's really warm actually too, like not too warm, but it's lined. So uh, you could definitely, like if it was a bit chilly and you felt like you needed a jacket, you could wear it. It's not too lightweight. Um, oh, I love it so much let me just come in so you can see the detail I just feel like it looks so cool like just with a pair of jeans and a top I'm so happy with this like unbelievably happy I really didn't think I was a bomber kind of person but this has definitely swayed me so the next thing I'm going to pull out my bag of tricks is oh I know what this is it's the top this is probably like the most boring thing that I pick but I just love simple things. I don't think it's boring. So it's a really huge oversized jumper. they will probably be able to see, it's probably maybe go really white. Um, you'll be able to see this better probably on. But what I loved about it was the sleeves. So it's kind of got like drop shoulders and then it's got really nice um, flared flute kind of sleeves. Um, and I got that in a small medium. And it's just a really nice, I just love oversized tops that you can just shove on with a pair of jeans and nice shoes and just look really nice. Um, and I don't really have that many black ones, like I'm such a sucker for cream and white, my wardrobe is just full of cream and white. So when I saw this, I had to get it. So this is the oversized top, it's very oversized, but it is so comfortable. I love the way it hangs, kind of like loose on the shoulders. And then the sleeves come out, as you can see, they're really kind of flared um, and I just think it kind of adds interest to a really simple outfit um, if you just can't be bothered and you want to be comfy and you want to feel like you're wearing your pyjamas but you still want to look like you've made an effort then this is definitely the sort of top that you go for and generally that's how I feel every day so it's the great kind of choice for me and if you just wore like a statement necklace like I'm sorry but I would wear this like tucked in maybe on a night out like oversized 
um, and yeah I just think this looks really cool um, or untucked I mean if you're petite you could probably wear this as a dress I could probably wear this as a dress if I was a slut depending on how I'm feeling that day to be fair but yeah I know I could definitely wear this as a dress if I wanted to just probably would wear like cycling shorts or something underneath because it is a teensy bit short so the next thing again I surprised myself by ordering this because I fell in love with it but I just never would normally be this brave so it's a dress but it's quite low cut and I do not have big boobs whatsoever and so normally I just would just write it off and be like no it's not going to suit me but I just thought I'm going to try it so it's got really nice low cut front and it's kind of like a cheesecloth-y material um, and it's white with like the navy embroidery details and then on the back it's got the deep V again lace up detail and then like a cut out I mean you're definitely going to have to see this one on because it doesn't really look like much here but on the model it looked incredible and if it looks crap on me then I will insert a picture of the model so you can see that it is actually beautiful but yeah I got that in a size 8 because with the gapey gapey? I'm, I'm expecting it to be gapey which is why I got it in an 8 because I wanted to make sure that it fitted properly because I think when you've got cut out and low V's and stuff you don't want it to be like hanging and gaping so I actually really love this dress I don't think that I'd ever wear it in the UK unless I wore kind of like a top underneath here um, it's very low like honestly I've never worn anything low this low before, this low before in my life not even a bikini but I actually really like it I think it'll be perfect for travelling for like an evening kind of dress. Um, I love the embroidery detail that's navy and um, you can kind of do it as tight as you like with the laces. I've done it really tight because I didn't want it to like gape but yeah I really really like this um, and it's actually really comfortable too and I like the fact that it's lined because um, a lot of like white dresses that are cheaper from cheaper companies aren't lined and it's such an issue but no, I really like this actually, and I don't feel self-conscious in it, which I thought I really would. Um, like I didn't, I wasn't looking forward to trying this on on YouTube because obviously my situation with no breasts. But I actually don't feel self-conscious at all, and I really like it. So yeah, definitely happy with this one. So next, I got this jacket which I have seen everywhere in every colour in every kind of material and basically I just wanted my own one I think it's oh, so soft actually so much more soft than I was expecting um, it's a pale grey bomber jacket not, it's not a bomber jacket it's a biker jacket it's a pale grey biker jacket um, I think they must I don't know if that's a full sleeve oh yeah it is um, so let me just unzip it so you can see it properly. It's kind of like a bikery. It's cropped. Um, it's kind of like a bluey grey, like almost like a really pale blue. Um, and I just think that will look really nice. It's just another basic, simple piece. Look really nice with like white top and jeans, like a whole monochrome look, or um, just simple outfit. Or you can wear it like in the evening. Um, with a dress I just think it's a kind of wardrobe staple um, and as I said I've seen it around quite a lot so this little biker jacket um, I've just put with some black jeans and a white top just because that's what I was wearing before and um, I really like it actually it's really comfortable and soft and like because it's so soft you can move a lot in it like I know that sounds silly but do you know when you get like real suede jackets sometimes and leather that's really hard or like PU that's really hard and it's hard to move in it and sometimes you feel a bit like stiff but this is really comfortable and easy to move around in it almost smells like you're in a cardigan or something and because it's so light you can roll the sleeves up which I really like that kind of look but this is actually more of like I don't know if you can see it's more of like a microfiber material um, but yeah I really like this I think the colour is really nice and fresh like for the whole monochrome look but also I think it would look really nice with a little summer dress as well this is Oh, I know what it is. It is. So you know my white top that I love, 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 love? Um, the mango one that's kind of crossover with the double-breasted. This is like a black version of that. 
Um, and I saw it on Miss Gadget and loved it so much. I mean, again, because it's black, you can't really see much, but it's kind of like a tuxedo style and it's got like a, so it's all kind of, is it matte material? I don't really know how to explain it, but it's all kind of normal crepey material. And then um, the fold over collar is kind of sh uh, like satiny, like it would be on a men's tuxedo. And then it's got like the double breasted, I think it's actually called tuxedo jacket. No, it's called crepe double button blazer. Yeah, I would call it like a dub, uh, tuxedo. So I put this on with the black trousers because um, I thought this would look really cool. Um, not the black trousers, sorry, a pair of black trousers. These are just a pair of high-waisted trousers. And I just thought it looked really cool as kind of like a female suit kind of look. Like Courtney Cod... Oh, I can't talk today. Like Courtney Kardashian kind of style. Um, so yeah, I just thought that would look really cool and it does. If you can see, it's got the kind of um, different material here and the double breasted. Um, I've got this one size up because I want you to be loose because I think I just love oversized loose things. And also I wanted to wear it as a jacket. Um, I think this would also look really cool with black jeans or um, like to mix the textures or with blue jeans, um, which is probably what I'll be wearing it with. And then finally, I got myself a pair of sunglasses, or oh, I didn't get myself, I picked myself a pair of sunglasses because I have had a pair that I've had for a couple of years and I love them, the mirrored ones, but they're so broken, they break all the time, so I got a new pair and these ones are so, they're like almost identical, love these, I just think they make any outfit look good, like any outfit looks pulled together when you've got a good pair of sunglasses and um, yeah, my other ones were just literally dead. And these are quite similar to the, well, I'm sure they're dupes for the Dior ones, which everyone has and I'm obsessed with. But I've actually heard that they scratch really badly, so they're probably a really bad investment to make. So it's quite good to get a dupe of them, because if they scratch really badly, I mean, obviously, again, I can't see the price of these, but they're probably no more than £10. So if they do scratch badly then you can just get another pair um, and my previous ones did scratch really badly but they weren't from misguided so I can't really judge they were from a brand called Plastic Tail and I did have them all the time wear them all the time and I'm really bad at looking after my sunglasses too so they weren't in they were just like thrown in my handbag in the bottom of my bag I never put them in a case but I've got a case now and I'm gonna use it so yeah but I really like these so I'm going to go and try everything on now and then I'll insert clips of everything, me wearing everything. Obviously don't need to do sunglasses because I just tried them on. Um, and yeah, so I hope you like everything and let me know what you like and what you don't like and what you think of the things that I chose. Um, and if you buy any of them, let me know and let me know if you style, how you style them up or tag me in your pictures and stuff. And um, if there's anything else you want me to film, then make sure you let me know and I will do that. And if you could like this video, then that would be amazing. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!